right, here is the video review for Studio Series Barricade. He is, no, we see 28 is his number. Uh, he comes with his little instruction manual of paper, which is behind me. There is. Look at that. It's an instruction manual of paper, as I, as I mentioned. And he comes with this little spinny wheel of death. Which is his weapon in, in the movie. You see him use it a couple times. It's not the most amazing thing. It does have, there's a slot here underneath that you can take the peg and plug into. So if you want to deploy it in vehicle mode because he's going to go mow his lawn, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, a little weird. The blades on this are kind of that soft rubbery plastic, as is the bumper, which was a little warped on mine. It's still... If I push it, when I push it in, lock it in, it's okay. But in robot mode, it tends to angle a little bit because it was a little warped. And I just haven't hit it with the hair dryer or the hot water trick yet. But yeah, he's a, he's a police car. He's actually a nice little police car. Like, I really, uh, I was talking on Twitter earlier. Like, he's not, I don't know. Like, it, it's hard. Like, I said earlier, he's not the best of the barricades we've gotten. Like, if you have, if price is no option, if you take price out of the equation, the, the uh, masterpiece might be the best barricade we've gotten but this guy is a lot of fun like I th this guy may be my favorite barricade that we've gotten and i don't know exactly what it is i can't quantify it part of it is that he's not he he gets some of the same things going that other versions have but is not as complicated to do it um, that may be part of it he's there's just something like he's not he's, like he said he's not perfect his chest is a little too narrow um, he doesn't quite have the, the right, you know, the, the way the wheels on the shoulders work, but he's just a lot of fun. He, he's small. He's got, he, he does have his to punish as in slave. He's got the little 911 tamp on all these small little numbers, little logos and stuff on here. Oh, that one looks a little crooked, the one on the side, but, uh, but yeah, police 643, the light bar. He's a very cool little police car, like just by himself. He is small, uh, as the studio series has, has kind of tended to be. Like here he is with the previous Camaro Bumblebee, and, he's, and like I don't know if the actual cars are this size. I, for some reason, I thought this car was supposed to be a little beefier than the old Camaro, but maybe I'm wrong. But he's actually he's, he's roughly the same dimensions as B, maybe a little a little shorter uh, lengthwise, but about the same width. And roughly the same height here at the top, uh, maybe even a little taller at the top of the light bar. But uh, but yeah, smaller than I expected, which honestly makes him a little bit more fun. It's fun to just kind of oh please car, woo, please chase, you know, zoom around like a, I, I know that makes me sound like a like a way younger kid than I actually am. But um, but he has been fun. Like he's a nice looking like this vehicle by itself is very nice looking uh, on its own, and they and they've replicated it very well. So to get him started on transformation let me just pick them up here untab this and that's the other thing when i first got this i got some help uh this did not tab in all the way like it didn't push it all the way up against it there's a trick you got to make sure there's a couple different things you need, need to make done i'll try to show off these tabs there's a couple tabs on the arms that go into the, the thighs um, and I'll show those off. It's, it, you can't really see them through the windows, but once we start pulling this apart, I'll show you. But also, the hands, they have little claws, and you have to make sure the thumb clicks all the way through. And again, we'll, I'll show that off, but if you don't do that, you don't get everything lined up right, it, make, it makes this hard to push in, but you can see it's all lined up now. I have like a gap here on these back pieces. So open that up like that. You can start pulling the arms out to the side. And uh, again, it, it does some things differently than than earlier versions of it. Like it, this, this is the the same. Like pulling pulling the whole side of the car out to form the arms is nothing drastically new for a barricade figure. But how it all comes together is a little different. So bring this out, and here's what I'm talking about. There's a couple tabs here on the on the forearms, right here in the gray part, um, just behind the window, just right here in front of my finger. There's a little tab there, and there's a slot here on the thigh and if you don't have the legs compressed up properly into the vehicle mode that doesn't sit at the horizontal angle you need to tab that in so if you're having trouble getting the back piece to plug in one make sure these tabs on both sides are are in the uh are into those slots and also again on the hands we'll go ahead and flip his hands out here you can see he's got the uh 
he's got the three fingers and a thumb on his hand. And in order for that to fit, for all this to fit properly, you can't just close it up like that and fold it back. You need to make sure to push. There's a couple little tabs on the side of his thumb. And again, they're kind of hard to see here. But uh, there's some small little bits on the side of his thumb that you need to make sure click together like that. When you hear it snap, and when this forms a perfect circle, well, actually it's not a perfect circle, but when it's connected, you know that's clicked in that, and that will also uh, give you a little bit more space to make sure that this can tab in all the way. So just a couple problems going to vehicle mode. So go ahead and flip out his hands here. The legs, just kind of fold these up. There's a little slot here on the side of the leg that these fit into. They don't lock or anything, they just kind of fit up into that slot. And then flatten the feet, untab his legs from each other, and then bring these kind of up and around to the front. Here we go, make sure it goes that. But bring it, angle it around the front as much as you can here. I just think it looks better. You can leave them straight, but then he's got these really skinny gray pieces in the middle, and if you kind of digitigrade them a little bit, it makes them look a little better. But yeah, so that. Um, and then up here, take this whole hood assembly, take this, this, like I said, just this front little bumper piece is the soft rubbery plastic, but lift this all up. And the way the whole back collapses is different because instead of folding around, and I am a little worried because there's, there's a lot of swivelly bits on clear plastic, which uh, I'm worried about this windshield snapping, but uh, you lift this panel up, pull it up a little bit from the windshield and it rotates, just rotates around onto the windshield to cover it up. And then the same with this piece. This piece is on a ball joint up in here. And then you rotate this around and over the light bar to form the backpack. And that, that all collapses up like that, which is kind of neat. And once you've done that, you can bring, you bring, you can see the double hinges here. You want to bring this down and bring this, bring it back at this hinge so that this tab tabs up into the torso. It doesn't lock super tightly, but it does clip into the place there and holds the whole body together. Then flip his head up. He's got some soft rubber bits back here to be his kind of back wings. Bring his arms out. Fold uh, the hands. Let me go ahead and snap that around and clip him up like that. He does kind of have hollow forearm because of the windshield. It's clear plastic, but oh well. And then take uh, the door, untab it here. There's a hinge here, there's a double hinge here in the elbow, or at the elbow. Bring that up, fold it around. And again, it doesn't tab tab into place, but the friction of that joint is enough to hold it in place. Um, so you can kind of rotate it around the door up here, and then fold the side window down, and then you can bend him at the elbow. He's got a hinge there for his arms. So like I said, it does, it, these pieces don't move independently of the shoulder like, like they did on some of the earlier versions. And then on his chest, you gotta bring his head up, uh, take these little pieces right here, push them down so they angle out a little bit, and then angle them up in the middle to give him that deformed chest. And there he is in robot mode. And like I said, it's not the most screen accurate barricade we've gotten, I do feel like his chest should be a little wider. Um, like the actual, like where these headlights, this whole thing should stretch out maybe about to where the gray on his shoulders was, or it ends like into his arms. But I mean, so he's got some odd proportions, like, but there's something about like just the way it all comes together. He's super fun. I really dig this dude. Um, oh, and then this backpack, it doesn't hang down like that. It's on a hinge back here that you can lift up more onto the back should come up higher than that. I had, I've had it up higher than that, but, but so it's not hanging down behind his legs there. Oh no, maybe that is where I've had it. Never mind, ignore me. So yeah, he's, he's cool. He's posable. He's, he's got, like I said, his, his torso proportions are a little weird, but, um, it's, it's hard to call out a movie bot on weird proportions because they were so weird that it's hard to even tell if this isn't accurate. I mean, I'm basing it on my recollection of what he looked like. But yeah, so if you close his hands, so you get that circle. And that's, that's the other, that's why I don't, this is just going in a bin somewhere. I'm not ever going to really use this. It doesn't store in vehicle mode. And in robot mode, it literally just, you put the peg in his hand and now he's got 
his weapon. And it doesn't look like it's a transformation of his arm. It looks like he's holding a spinning wheel weapon. So it's there if you want it, but you know, I don't care for it. It doesn't drag the figure down. He's just a really fun barricade. He's, I mean, like he really is. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm really enjoying uh, playing with him. More than I even thought I was going to. Again, here he is with the early studios. This is not the new Clunker Bumblebee, which I think is just the same figure, but with like dirt on it. But um, that's still early studio series Bumblebee, uh, just to give him so they can fight. He's got a ball joint at his neck so he can look around. He's got some nice face paint. Let me see if I can't get his face. I don't know if the red on his face is going to show up, but he's, he's got his insectoid eyes. He's got four little red dots there on his face. Just a really nice job all around on, on his paint apps. But yeah, so he's got the ball joint here at the head. He's got a ball joint at the shoulder. A little limited. He can also move back and forth at this hinge. But he, he does have a... While well, the... The, the, ball, the socket kind of limits it front to back a little bit. There is a ball joint at the shoulder. So you can get some decent poses. He does have that bicep swivel here that does bring the door with it. Uh, just a hinge at the elbow. A little bit of like back and forth on the wrist, but no wrist swivel. You can open up his hands. A little bit like that. Not, not super wide, but you can give him grabby hands. No waist swivel, but uh, ball joint at the hip. And then you get no thigh swivel either. Okay, that's kind of a drawback. The knee, and then some front to back at the foot. There's no side to side ankle tilt. So not as articulate as some of the uh, some of the figures in the Studio Series line, but but for a deluxe, he's a nice rendition of Barricade, um, even if not 100% screen accurate. And he's a lot of fun. And ultimately, that's what it comes down to for me. He's just a lot of fun to play with. I have fun with him. He's cool in car mode. And he's cool in robot mode. And uh, he will probably be a pocket slash work bag carry around me figure for a while because he's that fun. But there it is, Studio Series 28 Barricade. Yeah, because I always forget and have to do it at the end. There is his backdrop. It is the power plant where he fought Bumblebee in the first Michael Bay movie. The end.